Hey everyone, welcome back to the show. This is Red from Red Pill Animations. And today we're doing something a little different. I usually go through all the figures before we do the end of the line build a figure, but today I wanted to do things a little bit different. Wanted to jump into the big guy first, the cyborg. We know it's a big figure, as you guys can tell from the box, from the other videos or other videos where you've seen it and reviewed it. And then we'll put it next to the other figures in my uh, Flashpoint world. And we'll even take a measurement since I've got my broken but handy dandy uh, set, guys. We'll jump in. Now, first of all, the first thing I always tell you guys is make sure that your figure is heated well. And I've heated it already twice before I started recording, putting the script together. So we're going to start off with the blaster cannon on here. And we'll get it in here hopefully we don't have any bloopers there you go you guys heard the snap and we've got that in there you guys can see that there so next up we're gonna get the other arm in there and and it's sad guys because I think a lot of you feel it this way but you guys don't say anything you guys wait until channels like mine say something we all hate this year waiting to get this figure uh, put together or this year wait is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I, You know, we all have the money, McFarlane. We all want to get our figures put together. So with that one, so this one I'm having a little bit of trouble. So I'll be right back. I'm going to heat it up again to see if we can get the uh, the peg inside. And we've heated that up. Let's see if the peg will go in. Been having trouble with that one. Hmm. Strange. Okay, you guys heard the snap. So we've got the other peg in there. Let's try to get those legs in here. Let's see if we can get that in there. Okay, I've got one leg in there, but the diaper guys is bunched up there so let's see if we can fix that here sorry i'm off camera guys but it is a big fella so i've got to do things off camera real quickly and last but not least let's get the cyborg head in and guys we'll look at all these details even though on the wonder woman video which is next after this one we'll look at cyborg's head which i in the other reviews i did the other one so Overall, guys, wow, it's a massive figure. I got to put him all the way back here. Let's focus in on the guy. It is a massively, fantastically well-sculpted figure. And for those of you who I saw in other people's comments and things like that, you guys are going by the movie, so he doesn't have that slicked out... Uh, tapered gun he's got more of the bulkier the entire wave guys is based on the graphic or comic book of the flashpoint it's not based on the movies and and i always tell you guys respect the author's work guys respect that forget about what hollywood does or the film i love the movie don't get me wrong but you go back to the graphic novel and it has more details and it has better stories i don't understand why hollywood cannot do that I think the Flashpoint, just like the Flash movie, got in the source material and done it identical. Would have even been more fascinating for the fans. So, I'm going to stop with my rambling. I'm going to take my trusty tape measure. Or at least I think it's trusty. It's no longer holding on the uh, thing. Let's... Uh, we're going to go... Whoops. I know you guys love that blooper stuff. But we're going to go to the top of his head. Sorry, it's fading away. I guess the battery's dying again. An 8.7. So about 8 inches is what I'm getting for the figure. Don't know if that's what you guys are getting. But overall, it's a beautifully designed figure. The sculpt is amazing. McFarlane did an, an awesome job capturing the... Uh, that A lot of people don't like this on it and i can't remember if it is on the uh comic book or in the movie but i tend to like it because he is and i hate to say it 
the government's lapdog, you know, cyborg, and he has access to everything. So let's take a look, guys, at all the details. We've seen the gun before when I've done the reviews of the other uh, figures. We've seen the legs. And let's see how good the articulation is. So the head does swivel there, does look up and down. Not that much here, but, wow, man, look at this. I have to say that Cyborg has never been my favorite hero, but this, and again, guys, I love everything from the Flashpoint, and this version of, of Cyborg is amazing. I think that being him, him being a robot, ha, you know, Cyborg, whatever, you know, machine, he should be this big. A lot of people were whining uh, that he's just too big, but I think they, they did a, a phenomenal job capturing that. So the hands are on a uh, double, double jointed. So we do get that. We do have guys, and it is loose because I've uh, heated it up, uh, is a bicep swivel. We do get some kind of a hinge in the hands. And obviously we're not gonna get the same thing because we've got the cannon blaster, but the blaster does go and kind of reminds me of Trap Jaw. You imagine Trap Jaw and him fighting. We got this, we got waist articulation. He doesn't kick that far on there, but he's got like a, a thigh swivel there. We got single jointed knees and you get a swivel, not too much. It doesn't look like it. Let me see. Yes, we do. It is on a ratchet system. We get that. We got the toe articulation and we got that. Whoops. This leg just came off. Let me snap that in there. Probably going to put some uh, poster putty. We do get, I've noticed that when we get single articulation knees, there's some kind of a hinge in the knee. So we do get that kind of bend. So with that said, guys, uh, another build a figure that doesn't come with a card uh, to tell you who the character is. Everyone else does. And that's always been a laziness of McFarland toys on there. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to bring in the rest of the crew and some special guest uh, from that world. So you guys can at least take a look. Give me a second. Now I'm having trouble standing him up. You guys love those bloopers. Here we go. And I'm going to put them all the way back here. Because the studio's not that big. And that way you guys can uh, take a look. All right. We'll bring in everyone else. All right, guys. And here's the entire gang. Here's everyone from the Flashpoint. As you can see, I put Wonder Woman front and center since she's the next review on the next video you guys will see. You guys can see after a year of waiting, which is the stupidest thing I've ever seen, we finally got the figures with a little bonus, my custom Thomas Wayne that I did put a cape. And I did tell you guys how I did that, but I wanna tell you something guys, and I wanna forewarn you. Please guys, if you're a collector or an animator, I don't want you spending your money. Scalpers are asking $99 for the Thomas Wayne uh, McFarlane with the guns and that's not necessary if you want to do a custom this is my advice to you I was able to buy a lot of Thomas's before the band I started buying it because it's my favorite figure and I wanted to have extra ones but I also started buying the unmasked one in case I wanted to do cape customs and that's what I did so this figure here this is the head from another Thomas Wayne that I had uh, where I took the guns off to put on a um, red hood. And since I had the extra head, this body is actually the unmask. I shoe polished the neck to make it look part of the costume because it had the bare uh, skin neck. And then I put the head and I darkened the eyes. I even gave them a black wash to bring the uniform out. I don't want to bring because I don't want them to start falling over. The Aquaman, the same stupidity. Uh, I don't understand why McFarlane did that to that Aquaman. He's an amazing figure. He looks very militant. He had that crew cut, but I had to get a Flash Gordon thanks to Professor Bex on Instagram who said to do this. And I'm happy now with this. That head, I don't know what the hell I did with it. I probably threw it out out of anger. 
I love my subject one. The only downfall is I wish I had extra hands. But given the fact that his hands seem a little bit uh, bigger than the figure or the skinny body, I can probably get away with heating up his hands and putting on the uh, the page punchers Superman, the the uh, one that everybody seems to be liking. That one, and I like it too. It looks like Brandon Roth. I think I said his name correctly. And last but not least, I've got the Flash back there. Love that figure as well. Everything, I've got my universe. I've got my Wonder Woman. And honestly, guys, I was waiting for this whole entire thing to be done. Truth be told, I wish McFarlane would just, if he's doing DC, he would dedicate a little bit more to the Flashpoint. Just a little more to give us more figures. I even got a Black Manta. And I've got the recent Page Punchers um, Ocean Master to add to that collection. We even got a Captain Atom in there. But I wish he would give us top. I wish he would give us uh, more figures that we can add into this world. Even a Deathstroke. I would have sacrificed a Wonder Woman. Unfortunately, guys, I'm not like you guys whining about a classic Wonder Woman. I wanted her. But if I didn't have this Wonder Woman, guess what? The McFarlane, uh, Todd McFarlane design Wonder Woman would have been my step in for this. But I'm happy he created it. For those of you whining in the next video, she's not wearing, like in the movie... Uh, the crown or the tiara or whatever she's wearing. She's wearing the battle helmet from Mera. So, guys, get the graphic novel. Respect the artist. So, with that said, guys, I am extremely happy that I've got my Flashpoint world complete. I'm ecstatic that I have them. I'm hoping and praying McFarlane dives more into it and gives us more figures. So, with that said, guys, if you like today's video, guys, hit the like, hit the notification, share the video, and last but not least, love you guys. Please subscribe. It's helping us grow together as a community. So with that said, guys, I'm done with my Flashpoint uh, review. I'm done with the figures. So me and the entire team, we're done. Happy Thanksgiving. And guys, stay safe. And we are out. Whoop. There's the blooper. Bye, guys.